So today Jack Kutu has decided to show me his Ishimura build in Starnade. So here it is. If you've ever played Dead Space then uh, you'll recognise the ship. This uh, particular design is pretty iconic in gaming if you've ever played that one. It's a very familiar design. So uh, as you can see he's done a bang up job on converting it I think. You know. And because uh, it's nice and clean, nice and simple, it's not too big. You know, he's actually just made the shape using the shapes that we've got. So, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, just have another quick look around, see if we've missed anything. So, we've got the spines coming out under there. What else have we got? We've got that. It's just straight up, straight up. You know, it's a good representation of the model. So what have we got? We've got a camera here, we've got a bit of power. Looks like uh, docks. Are they docking docks in there? They're red. They might be enhancers, I guess, but uh, hmm, that's interesting. So very nice. So I guess you've got turrets on the side here. Right, let's have a look inside with this guy. And uh, I guess we can dock the ship. Get out of my gravity. Oh god. Yeah, gravity is a bit of an issue. We got gravity? Yeah, we got gravity here. There we go. Right then. So, let's have a look around. Oh gosh. We're using gravity like that, huh? I suppose. Could you jump up there? Yes. You can. Beautiful. How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five blocks. Nice corridors. I guess he's going to give me the guided tour now. So, rooms, rooms, lots of rooms. Do you know what? You could do a little shoot map level in here. <laughs> the interior is just corridors and empty rooms. Uh, what's just been removed? I don't need to catch up with him now. What's been removed? Uh, oh, okay, what's been removed? <laughs> I take it this is the control room then. going to build a reactor and a massive airlock to space and he's done it all in survival. So, uh -huh. every block came from a factory. Space in the next room. Right, let's go and check it out. He's got some more to show me. Whoa. Am I going down there? It's down there somewhere. <laughs> down there somewhere. Maybe he hasn't built it yet. Interesting. So, let's see. A couple of things I have been doing lately was this. So, the Ishimura is... It has a mass of 16,000 blocks, a length of 201 metres, a height of 73 metres, and a width of 71 metres. It has a total power of 7 million and uh, energy recharge is 1.2 million per second. Yeah, 1.2 million per second. The thrust is 18,707, uh, and it has uh, 1.2 million total shields, and 19,000 shields per second. Recovery is 4, which is strange for something with a low shield count. How has he managed to get 4? Anyway, I don't know, maybe I just didn't realise that the cutoff is quite low. So, that's the issue mirror. I'm going to head outside and see if I can... Uh
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in a single line. Here comes the second. So if that was seven, we can say fourteen. triplet ish maybe a little bit more it's in a single line that's good this is going to be a train really nice see where it popped from focused to unfocused fire when it popped through the target at the end there and we got two two lines indicating exactly where the turrets were located on the ship so we had two lines there and there and two lines there and there they're focusing in from the point of uh, ejection on his ship straight forward all the way down so, yeah, so at first they were very narrow, but after a while, because the guns are mounted apart, they did get, they made a wider wedge. So, again, it's flat because they're all level. We had a lot of penetrating power on that, so uh, not something to be uh, ashamed of there. Gets the job done and efficiently without destroying too many blocks. See, this is the thing. What I look for in efficiency is going through the blocks quickly and then a tight pattern, a really tight pattern. I mean, ideally, you want a perfect, a perfect one tunnel or one block, one block by one block all the way down. But it's very difficult to actually achieve that because you need to have the ship exactly straight. Um, and then, of course, there's, there's advantages and disadvantages to the two types. You either go with a wide fire to take out lots of damage in, in a shot, or you go with a narrow fire for accuracy and sort of like a cutting laser style. So, yeah, thanks very much for bringing you your ship, dude. Um, like I say, visitor ships is going pretty well. I'm actually having to get people to queue up now, so if anybody wants to show their ship off, I'm sure I can fit you in, but... Uh, you might have to wait a little bit when you log in, so I'm um, sorry if you end up waiting, but I will get round to you. Uh, those missiles aren't, that's not a bad little, ah, they're done fires, that's why it's bigger. Yeah, they have been. They were buffed. So, yeah, that was the Ishimura. Um, that was the Ishimura by uh, Jack Q2. Okay, so that's the end of this one. Um, if you want to show me your ship, please do. I've had a lot of people ask, and uh, I've got plenty of time to see more. So uh, drop by, bring your blueprints, and show me your ships. Again, this is Mushroom Fleet. Thanks for watching, and come back soon. See you next time.